Step number one, click here. Step number two, choose how much money you want. I will take 2500 BUSD. Step number three, choose the loan term clicking right here. Click here to start borrowing. Tap the box right here. Click here confirm and that's it. Loan successful. I just received 2500 BUSD in less than 15 seconds. Getting loans from Binance is as fast as flash. Now I will show you click by click more in detail how you can get Binance loans. What are the benefits and risks for taking them and how you can manage there in Binance loans section. But first when you want to start taking Binance loans or make money on Binance using any method you need to create the Binance account which is 100% free and I will leave you a link in the description where you can get up to $600 worth of bonuses to Binance. You click right here and you will land on Binance registration page where you will create your free account using your phone number or email address or Google account or Apple ID. And as you can see right here Binance works worldwide. If you sign up using your phone number you can see worldwide even in India you can start immediately. And every single Binance user is guaranteed to get an instant approval for their loan. So let me show you right here. You fill out your password. My referral ID for the best bonuses is automatically been added. You tap the box right here. Click here create personal account and you will be inside Binance for free. Once you are inside Binance and you want to redeem your welcome bonuses you will find them right here on the task center and reward center. You will see all the details on my playlist. Earn money on Binance specifically on this video. How to create Binance account tutorial. But today we will focus focus on Binance crypto loans, how you can get them, what are the steps and benefits of using them. You will find them on your computer here on the Binance section and here crypto loans. Get an instant loan secured by crypto assets and every Binance user is guaranteed to get an instant approval. You can also use this 100% perfectly on your phone as well. Let me show a quick clip from my previous video. You click here more, then you scroll down right here. You come to finance section, you click here crypto loans and here you can click here to start borrowing. And there you can get the loans in the exactly same way as you can do on the computer. First, what are Binance loans and how do they work? In a nutshell, they are flexible crypto loans. What do I mean with that? First, First, you can choose what currency you want to borrow. You can see that they have many, 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 many different currencies that you can start borrowing immediately. Second, you can choose how much money you want to borrow. I just took 2500 BUSD. If I would want to borrow more, I could still take around 13,000 BUSD or for example just $200 if I want to take a little bit less. Then I can choose what I use as a collateral. Personally I like to use Bitcoin but they have many different options that you can use. Then you can pay back the loans in a flexible way without any early repayment penalty. So you can put here 180 days but you can still pay it back earlier if you want. And again I want to remind every Binance user is guaranteed to get an instant approval. Let me go through the process on how to get the loan now more in detail. I will explain the steps. Then later I will explain how you can use Binance loans, what are the VIP loans and what are the risks of using Binance loans. Just to give you a quick spoiler, you can use this money in any way you want. You can even withdraw it from Binance in a physical cash or your bank account. But we will talk about that more later in this video. So first, come to this Binance crypto loans page. Because in some of my previous videos, in the comment sections, I get some questions. And as you can see, I reply all of your questions personally because I want to help you to make money but when you come to this page crypto loans here you can get 99.9% .9 of all of your questions answered immediately here you can see all the numbers here in the bottom you can see the different explanations for uh, different terms here here you can see what is the minimum to borrow let me show you for example BUSD the minimum is 100 BUSD and if you want to choose another coin let's say for example USDT it shows 100 USDT is the minimum to borrow actually at the moment it says USDT is not even available so if you want to get stable coins you prefer BUSD in any case I would prefer BUSD because it has a lower interest rate sometimes people also ask what is the minimum collateral amount and it shows it immediately right here let's say that you would want to uh, borrow for example 101 BUSD here is the minimum collateral amount in BTC and of course if you click right here you can use any other currency as a collateral as well you can choose personally as you can see on my loans right here I have always used a Bitcoin for all of my loans and I have been taking BTC 
USD. All right, so that's the first step. Choose what you want to borrow, the currency, and how much you want to borrow it. Second, choose what currency you want to use as a collateral. Personally, I like to use BTC, but you can choose whatever you want. And here is a one quick note that some people didn't notice. You need to hold this collateral in your spot account in order to get the loan, because as you know, this in Binance, there is earn account, then there is options, futures, margin, funding wallet. You can see there are many different wallets. So in order to get the loan, you need to have that fund in your spot account not in futures, not in funding, not in earn account, in spot account, right? Then you will get the loan. Then you will choose the loan term. And I have explained this to you already many times in my previous videos. Like even if you would choose here 180 days, but you still decide to pay it back, for example, for seven days, you don't need to pay a penalty for that. You only pay for the hours that you have borrowed for. For example, if I take a loan now and I hold that loan for let's say just one hour and I pay it back, then I only pay interest for just one hour. If I hold it for one week, I still pay for one week, even though I chose 180 days. Now some of you might be asking, why would anybody choose 7 days, 14 days, 30 or any other one rather than 180 days? And the reason is the hourly interest rate. You can see there is a small difference between 7 and 180. 7 has you can see 0 0.0003 38 and you can see 180 has 0.000455 so there is a small difference in the interest but it's so small that i just personally prefer to use the 180 days once you have decided how much money you want to borrow which one you use as a collateral how long do you want to keep that money for then you simply click here start borrowing now and then it shows you the confirmation you can still double check all the details once you tap this box and click confirm then the money will immediately arrive into your Binance spot account so you can see here in the spot account as well for example I just took this uh, 2500 BUSD let me show an example it has immediately arrived into my uh, spot account right here you can see 2580 because I already had like $80 previously so now I have received another $2500 and compare Binance crypto loans to old-fashioned banks there are no credit checks no social credit checks no discrimination every Every Binance user worldwide gets an instant approval guaranteed. For example, myself, I had a loan from Old Fashioned Bank. So one thing that I decided to do is that I took a Binance loan and I paid back that old passionate bank loan because Binance loans in my personal opinion are much better ones. Now if you're wondering what are the interest rates here on Binance loans they are really low let me show you here you click your more loan data and here you will see all the details. Now your interest rate will depend on your VIP level on Binance. If you are on a higher VIP level you will get a cheaper loan in the other words you will need to pay less interest. If you are a regular user then you can choose here let's say for example, you are borrowing BUSD, you can see here the annual interest rate is from around 3% to around 4%. And we talked about USDT, it has slightly higher, around 4.23. So it's a slightly higher one than for BUSD. Let's take an example from BTC, you can see it's 3.6%. And for seven days, it's actually less than 2%. And just to give you a comparison, regular user pays the same amount of money for BUSD in whether you are level 9 or regular user but if we come here to compare to other ones sometimes there may be a difference you can see that the numbers are changing depending on your vip level you can see here 6.666 and here 3.85 so you can see all the details here on the loan data it's right here below the borrowing section and now i want to answer the most common questions that people have been asking me how can you use binance loans and the answer is you can use them in literally any way you want you can withdraw them to your bank account you can give them to your mother you can pay for your rent or other living costs you can use it for trading or investing you can take the money in physical cash you can even go for holiday you can use the money literally in any way you want you have 100 percent freedom right here and now if you are asking in the comments can i use it for x and y can i use it for this and that yes 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 you can use it literally in any way you want and personally let me show how i use them i come here to trade i come here to spot section and then i will choose here btc 
BUSD and then I will scroll down I will choose here market and I will buy more BTC this is what I personally you can see order field partially filled and now it's done I have even more BTC 1.34 BTC now available so that's how I personally like to use these loans I like to get more and more Bitcoin because historically Bitcoin is now extremely cheap of course this is not finance advice so investment advice simply an example how i like to use binance crypto loans myself of course if you want to use margin you can also do it here on the trade and margin section or on the derivative section but this is one option to use margin in a conservative way now if you want to take even a bigger amount then you can try vip loans you can do them here apply now and here you can get larger borrow limits you can use hedging strategies let me show you right here you can even get reduced total cost you can get your interest rate as low as 1.1 percent per year and of course there are no transaction fees with vip loans but there are also not transaction fees with the traditional binance loan with vip loans you can simply get more money with the better rate possibly and then also with the more flexible payment terms so if that is something interesting for you check out the vip loans yourself and now how to manage your loans you can can simply scroll down here and here on the bottom you can see all your current loans and if you want to get more information you click this arrow and then it shows your interest rate it shows how long the interest period has been and you can see as I explained you only pay for the hours that you have been borrowing for here you will see the liquidation LTV here you will see the liquidation price and all the other things and that brings us to our last point what are the risks of taking Binance loans and in my personal opinion Binance loans are one of the lowest risks loans because if you compare to DeFi loans so-called flash loans on the DeFi in my personal opinion they are quite risky because many DeFi platforms have gone down poly network more than 600 million dollars were lost on Ronin more than half a billion dollars were lost here on wormhole more than 300 million dollars were lost beanstalk 180 million dollars were lost so on DeFi people have been lost millions and millions of dollars over the time course that's why I personally prefer to use Binance loans but that being said every loan has a certain risk and that also applies to Binance and here is in my personal opinion the biggest risk the liquidation price because if you are holding Bitcoin in your own wallet whether it's a mobile wallet hardware wallet or multi-sig wallet you don't have a liquidation risk your liquidation risk is zero in the other words you have always control of that Bitcoin nobody can take it from you unless you give it to somebody right but if you are taking loans you may lose your collateral and that would happen in a liquidation price unless you adjust LTV and let me show you what I will do I usually like to keep the LTV around 50 percent because the higher the LTV the bigger the risk if LTV reaches 83 percent your position would get liquidated so I will add a little bit of collateral in order to get the LTV lower so you can simply adjust right here it will show you the amount of BTC I click here add collateral and you can see it's completed now LTV has dropped into 53 percent and you can see that liquidation price has also dropped to 11 thousand now if i want to take some btc i can simply come here to remove and now i can remove some of the collateral you can see right here i can completely decide what to do so you have of course control the second risk is of course the counterparty risk so whenever you are holding your bitcoin in some counterparty in some exchange there is always some counterparty risk you always need to trust that counterparty in this example binance if you are holding Bitcoin in your own wallet you have zero counterparty risk because you are holding Bitcoin in your own hands you are owned that Bitcoin right and then of course the third risk is the coin value risk what if the price of your collateral fluctuates and that's actually the reason why I like to use BTC as a collateral because Bitcoin is the strongest form of money ever seen on planet earth it has gone all the way from 0 0.1 dollars to 1 dollars 10 dollars 100 dollars 1000 10,000 now when you are watching this video is probably already more than ten thousand dollars possibly going towards one hundred thousand one million 10 million so on and so forth not investment advice simply an observation of the numbers that you can also verify yourself so those are the risks and those are the tips that I use myself to manage the risks I use strong collateral and I keep the LTV 
low now if you want to get binance loans you can get them immediately here on the finance crypto loan section and if you want to learn more ways to earn money on binance even for 100 free come to my playlist earn money on binance and here you will see immediately seven ways to earn money on binance and much much more so you and me my friend we will see immediately in the next video